In this video, I want to convert these fractions into decimals. Now, in each of these cases, I would expect you to be able to do this by hand. Now, because we haven't got to um, any formal method of division, and doing it by hand in the playlist yet, um, if you are not confident with doing that, then um, you can use a calculator for the moment. Um, in order to convert them. Once you are happy, come back to this video, have a go, make sure you can actually write them in decimal format by hand. Okay? So, in order to convert a fraction into a decimal, what we do is we do the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So in the first case, we're just doing 1 divided by 2. And of course, you should know what half is as a decimal anyway. And that's 0 0.5. Now, 2 thirds, we're going to do 2 divided by 3. OK? Now, if you're doing this on a calculator, then the calculator has limitations in the sense that uh, it probably gives you 0 0.6666666666 until it runs out of display room. We might even do 0 0.6666 and then a 7 on the end, okay? Because essentially it just rounds it. Um, of course, if you do this by hand, it just keeps on going on and on and on forever. So what we say is that this is 0 0.6666666666 forever, and we write that as 0 0.6 recurring. And there are different ways of identifying recurring, but one way is to put a dot on the top of the 6, and that identifies that it is the 6 that is repeating. OK, so this represents 0 0.6666666666 forever. This is an example of what we refer to as a terminating decimal, because it terminates, it stops. And this is a recurring decimal, okay, or a non-terminating decimal, really, I should say. Uh, because not all non-terminating decimals are recurring decimals. Um, and that's examples of that would be pi or root 2, okay, because they don't repeat themselves. Now, one half and two thirds are both examples of proper fractions, as we learned in the previous video, and eight fifths and 71 over 20, these are examples of improper fractions. Okay, because they are top heavy, the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So, eight fifths, eight divided by five, we should get 1.6. Okay. So we have a terminating decimal there. So you could write 8 fifths as a mixed number, as we saw in the previous video. Um, because you've got 8 divided by 5, you get 1.6. You know it is going to be 1. So let's write 8 fifths as 1. And how many fifths have we got left over? Well, we've got 3, because 5 goes into 8 once, with 3 left over. So 8 fifths is the same as 1 over 3. 1, sorry, and 3 fifths. Right, last one. 71 over 20. So 71 divided by 20. So you should get, um, what would that be? 35.5, so 3.55. Okay, doing that quickly in my head. So 3.55, another terminating decimal there. And if you wanted to write that as a mixed number, 71 over 20, well, 20 goes into 71 three times. And what have we got left over? Well, 20, 40, 60, which means that there are 11 twentieths left over. So 71 over 20 is the same as 3 and 11 twentieths.